welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. I'm using the um, Oracle of the Radiant Sun for this particular read. And the first card that's come out uh, is the health card. So there's some uh, need for you to pay attention to your health. Uh, there's something going on over there. So if you do need to seek some medical attention, please don't leave it um, alone or, or just ignore it. Please make sure that you are seeking that medical attention. There's been a lot of drama that's been going on over there. Uh, you've got uh, Mercury sitting there in Leo. So, um, you know, a lot of problems going on on a personal level over there. And um, it's made you feel very defensive. But, you know, it's, it's stirred up a lot of problems, uh, a, a lot of... Um, maybe bad feelings as well. You've got a lot of clouds in this particular card here. So things going around and around in circles, maybe there's a lot of uh, stress and tension. You've got this big knot going on over there in the middle of the uh, the card there. So, uh, and a lion, which is talking about big, uh, you know, lots of difficulties that you're dealing with. And maybe this has been having some kind of knockoff on effect on your health. Uh, so please make sure that you have some kind of technique that you use to de-stress, but also make sure that you're paying attention to that health. There's a companionship card coming in over there, so making some good friends, new friends. Uh, there's meetings uh, going on over here. So um, um, getting together, maybe they're business contacts, maybe they are social contacts, but these are very, very good friendships that are coming in for you there with that companion card. In the past, you've got the egotism card over there and a manipulation card. So it looks like somebody's been controlling you quite a bit over there uh, with that manipulation card. Um, the egotism card is almost like the devil card. So there might be some kind of manipulation, some kind of relationship that you're in that is, uh, you know, very, very toxic over there. Um, somebody telling you what to do or even bullying you around. And with that manipulation card, it looks like uh, somebody's got, um, you know, some kind of hold over you and is causing you to, um, you know, making you do things. Maybe that you don't really want to do it at this particular moment. Maybe this is why it's causing so much of stress in your life right now. So going into the future, you've got the Secrets card and the Protection card over there. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that are being hidden from you, things that have not come to light yet with that Secret card. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, there's something uh, that you need to find out about. Uh, so a lot of information has not come to light. You've got the Protection card, so make sure you're looking out for yourself and for your interests. This is about looking after even your family, uh, maybe even if you have children, caring for them, uh, but being very protective as well. But with this protection card, it's also talking, you know, it's, you've got m the moon sitting there in Aries. So there is a great need for you to protect your personal secrets or protect all personal information over there. So whatever is going on over here, keep things to yourself and don't divulge information to people around you. You know, they could use that as a weapon. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the uh, tattoo tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the star card over here, and this is about getting some hope, some inspiration, some kind of message or guidance coming in for you there with that star card. Uh, this could be divine intervention in itself. You have been feeling very restricted over there. Um, you've got that eight of swords coming in over there, so feeling very tied up, very stuck in whatever situation, and not being able to see things very clearly. You can see this woman's got a blindfold over her, her eyes. So something is uh, you know, causing a lot of distress. There might be a lot of towel moments that you're going through as well. There's a lot of conflict. Uh, something is keeping you very, very tied up. So maybe this is that toxic situation that you are dealing with. It could be people around you. Maybe they're saying things that are, uh, you know, affecting your, um, your self-confidence and you're scared to actually act or do things. It looks like, you know, uh, you are going to be guided out of that particular situation with that star card coming in over there. Now what's happening around you? So you've got the Knight of Wands over here and the Tower card. So this could be something that's going on on the work front over here because Wands is about moving off uh, from whatever the situation is and going and doing a job somewhere else, making plans uh, and taking your rod and going. So 
from going and starting a job somewhere else because there was a big drama or something very dramatic had happened in that particular situation. Uh, with that tower moment, the, 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 um, it's almost like the hand of God comes in to, to, to almost take you out of it uh, by any means. Um, there's been a, a, a lot of drama that has happened as well with that tower moment, or it's about it's happening at this particular moment. So some really big shift in energy coming on over here. That's going to, uh, you know, that's making you decide that you want to actually leave uh, whatever's going on and move on. With the Knight of Wands, it's about you know making quick decisions, but being very very. Um, strategic in how you're making these decisions. So make sure you're doing research before you decide about moving forward. Uh, but it looks like, you know, you may have to, um, uh, you know, leave things behind, leave that old circumstance and move on with that Knight of Rods. It could be some kind of international job as well with that Knight of Rods, uh, you know, meeting foreigners or going and working in some foreign country as well. So a big change, a big drama coming in as well. But it looks like, you know, this is, this was destined to happen because it's the star card and the star card is is uh, you know a major arcana card, so it's about um, this might be the way your life path is going to make this change and move on. Um, you have been you know working pretty hard over here. You've got the nine of rods over here, so you've been going through a lot of problems uh, and having to sort out all these problems. And you know you're tired and and feeling ill and uh, you know not really coping too well with it. And you on your last uh, you know. You're on, on the verge of collapse almost, so your, your last strength is being used in whatever it is you are going through to deal with the circumstance. You're using whatever reserves you have uh, to try and sort this particular problem. And you can see even with that strength card over there, dealing with a lot of issues over there, but also trying to get your reserves, uh, you know, digging deep within yourself to actually try and sort this out. Um, so you are, you know, you are enduring, you are um, trying very, very hard to sort through these problems. And maybe, you know, this, uh, this tower is like the final, um, the straw that broke the camel's back, as they say. It's the final thing that happens, and that makes you decide that you want to actually move on. So you are making plans to move on over there, leaving behind all the battles and uh, traveling maybe, or you know, ch changing jobs, taking whatever skills you have and moving on. So you are making some detailed plans, uh, maybe even making travel plans to move forward and to start a new venture somewhere else. So uh, you've got um, the page of pentacles over here. So this is actually beginning a new job somewhere else and working pretty hard to amass all that finances that you need. Uh, there's deadlines that you're going to be working to, uh, and it's going to be something that's going to be very, very hands-on. You're going to use a lot of intuition as well, so uh, you know, also using a lot of your experience in order for you to uh, work this particular job. Um, so whatever it is this new job is, uh, it might be an overseas job, it might be a job, be a job that, um, you know, where you travel quite a bit. And there's a lot of learning with that page of pentacles. There's a lot of learning that comes in with it as well. So it looks like you're going to be starting something brand new somewhere else. Um, you've got also that 10 of pentacles over there. So you are ending this old job. There might be some kind of finance or payout that comes with it. But whatever you're going to be working for is going to be long term and it's going to be very rewarding. Uh, so this new job that you're going to be starting, it, it might be something that is going to be what you're going to be doing for a long time to come. And it's going to be uh, something that allows you to accumulate your wealth. So this is where you're going to build your little empire on uh, this new job that starts. So you're ending an old job. There might be a financial financial payout for it, but the new job that comes in will be much more stable and there might, you know, uh, it, it might be a job that you actually retire in as well. So uh, this is the death card of there, what's going on around you. So whatever has happened, uh, you've had to make a dramatic change and it's a sudden change as well with that death card. So cutting out things from the past, moving on. There's a lot of tears you can see over there. So being, being very upset about what is going on. You've got that uh, you know, sunrise going on over there through those pillars. So there is a, uh, a decision to be made for you and um, this is going to start off a brand, make a brand new start somewhere else, make a fresh start somewhere else. You've got that river sticks over over there. So this is going, you know, almost going over water. So it looks like you might be traveling overseas as well uh, with this particular new job that you're doing. 
So uh, how you're feeling at the moment and what you're scared about, you're scared about loss and, and uh, you know, uh, you've got financial problems as well. You've got this five of pentacles over here, feeling as though your hand is empty there. You can see this woman's hand is bleeding and it's empty and she's crying quite a bit. So this is how you are feeling right now. There's a lot of drama that you've gone through over here. You've got a lot of financial worries. You feel excluded uh, as well and feeling very lonely, very isolated as well. And you feel as though your hand is empty right now. So, uh, you know, you're worried, um, you know, things are going to get even worse. So those are your hopes and fears. Now, going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the four of uh, pen, uh, four of rods over here. You've got the page of um, rods over here, or page of wands, and um, you've got that seven of wands over there. So, with the uh, pay, uh, the four of wands, it's about you can see this is a nice vase full with flowers over there. So, uh, you know, you're going to have um, something where you travel, meet a lot of people that are foreign, um, and this is almost like a celebration card. So, whatever it is, you're going to go and start somewhere else. You're going to be working with a group of people that uh, you're going to enjoy that particular work. There's going to be a lot of travel involved in it, and it's going to be very, very successful. Uh, so these are new contracts that are going to be signed and there's a lot of stability that comes in with this new job that you're taking on. With that page of wands as well, this is about moving overseas and going and doing that job. A lot of communication. The fox usually signifies that new job. So um, this is about starting this brand new job but overseas or away from where you're working at the moment. So traveling and to go and do this job and working with a lot of foreign people. There's a lot of leaves that are budding over here. So it's going to, uh, you know, be a very, very nice uh, work environment. And also it's going to produce a lot of rewards. And you're going to be very, very happy in it as well. Um, you've got that seven of uh, rods over here. So whatever it is, um, you know, defend yourself. Stand up for yourself. Make sure people are hearing your voice when you speak. Uh, so that, uh, you know, people are not taking advantage of you. So if you decide to do something, don't let anybody deter you. Make sure that you are standing up and defending whatever you're doing and go with your own instincts. So it looks like you are going to be starting something brand new, leaving behind all the drama behind, um, making a fresh start somewhere else. And it might be a job that involves a lot of travel. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Angel uh, Tarot deck for the Oracle read. And this is the Five of Water, which says things not turning out the way you hoped, not seeing the positive in the situation and crying of spilt milk. So this is a card about regret. Maybe you didn't want to leave this particular job. Maybe you wished that it didn't end up this particular this way. But there are two cups standing. So there's two options. There's a choice that is coming in for you. And even with this uh, Two of Rods, that is a choice card reaching that fork in the road and having to make a decision. So stop worrying about the things that have lo been lost, but start focusing on the things that you have left in your hand. You still have your skills and your experience, and you can use that uh, to change that whole circumstance around. You've got the page of fire over here, which is the page of rods, and this appeared again in this particular spread. So it says, news about an exciting new adventure, use your originality and ingenuity. So definitely communications coming in about that new job that you're going to be doing. And this is also a card about travel and doing this particular job somewhere else. Uh, so you, are, it looks like you know you're going to get some good news coming in over there with that page of fire, uh, but it also looks like you're going to be traveling to do that job, and then you've got the four of water over here. So this is also an opportunity being presented to you. Uh, missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom, open your eyes to possibilities. So it might be something different, something that you never considered before. And maybe this is why you may not even think that it is important. But this new offer that is coming in for you, a job offer, it looks like it, there might be some study as well attached to it. Uh, it is something worth considering. So stop looking at whatever was lost. You know, stop crying over those spilled cups over there with that five of water because you might end up missing that opportunity because you're so focused on it. And also open your mind to doing something different. So you might need to take a detour, a little, you know, do something really different uh, in order for you to get back on track again. Uh, and whatever this offer is, it might be something very different from what you usually do, but it will get you to where you need to go to. So that is a very important thing to remember. That, uh, you know, even though it's an offer, it's quite a big cup as well over here compared to the other ones, it might turn out to be something even better, something that you really wanted to do, something that you, only when you get to do it, 
uh, do you realize that this is what you should have been doing all along in the first place? So open your mind to those possibilities. That is very, very important. Um, you know, don't stay stuck in the old. It's time to move on to the new. So I hope that this reading resonates with you, and I wish you the best of luck. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.